question, everybody, you're in for a star-studded affair. <laughs> oh, star-studded <laughs> affair. Today we have the Nike Dunk High Paparazzi. Oh, he's just getting into it over here. <laughs> Let's do it. So these are like the legit in-store pair. These are, right you have to get these directly from Brooklyn Projects in Los Angeles. Um, mm, the red. Yeah. I'll hand you one there. Yeah, let me look at one of these. Yeah. I haven't got to see it yet. I'm still staring at it because I'm salty right now. It's just dude. So, so you got these directly from Brooklyn Projects, I which did. is awesome. Brooklyn Projects, amazing customer service. Um, those guys are, I've got their last two um, collabs. I got the Lowe's directly from them, and I got these. Um, once I got the Lowe's, I had to have these. Mm -hmm. um, well, yeah. yeah, it's like the pack. Yeah. Both black and red. These are dope. God, those laces are tough. What uh, what you drew you to these other than the fact that you have the, the lows? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Um, like let's say I get a pair of shoes and, and it's a a collab or like a LeBron All Star. I kind of feel if I fall in love with one, I kind of feel tied to that particular shoe. So if I got the LeBron Nines, then I kind of have to get the Tens and the yeah, Lights. Yeah. I mean, they would have okay. to be like really bad for me to to pass on them. Um, but these. Regardless of that, um, I think they, they go really well with the lows. They keep the same like Hollywood theme. Um, the cameras, you know, for for paparazzi. Um, you can only there are certain things that only come with the Brooklyn Projects uh, exclusive release. Um, the symbol on the back, the camera, um, the velvet rope, um, red. Um, if you get the, the kind directly from Nike, it's all black here. Um, no symbol on the back. What's um, up with that Nike? The <laughs> The insole um, has a little Brooklyn very Projects. Very jokes. Yeah, I was yeah. just noticing that. Yeah. Little Brooklyn Projects cool. guy. Um, same for the low. Had the little guy in there. Um, yeah, it's uh, just the the added little, just the subtle things like that. They really just set shoes off. Um, All the 3M. Yeah, the, there's 3M. Yeah, yeah, everywhere. Paparazzi with the, the cameras flashing. You got to throw a lot of 3M in there so yeah. you can take a picture with the lights. And the laces yeah. only come Brooklyn Project pairs. Mm -hmm. To me, it's just interesting that normally on a collaboration that comes out in store, they'll change one thing on the shoe. And it's usually, you know, it won't have the BP down here. Yeah. Yeah, which... Which wouldn't be a huge deal if it didn't have the BP with the with the camera. Yeah, yeah, but when you take it. away the the, the, red, the velvet on the back, and you the take laces, away the 3M the laces, check. the check, the insole, I mean they change a lot of the be. shoe here. Yeah. That is exactly why I did not buy them. Because I'm pissed about that. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> you wanted the legit pair. Yes. You didn't want well, the knockoffs. I mean, yeah, I mean, okay, I take that away. That's fine with me. That's yeah, fine. exactly. Give me, give me the red. Dude, you changed the whole shoe. The red really sets it off. Dude, it yes. Does. Like, the lows, the Brooklyn Projects on the back. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a really nice touch. But without that, it still looks the same. You know? Yeah. It has one word on e the back of each shoe which changes it and makes it look really nice. I mean, I'd rather have that pair, but they didn't change the color of the tongue and then give me crappy laces and then, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I think the bottom is dope too. Just I agree. I think it's sick. The snapshots. Yeah. Brooklyn Projects, to me, the, the Walk of Fames were, oh man, I fell in love with those immediately and then I, I just had to get these and Brooklyn Projects was so great to work with. I think it's like an over the phone order. Um, they really took care of me. Um, I can't say enough about those guys, um, especially like with the designs they put out and then the customer service on top of that. Big shout out to those guys. Yeah. They, uh, it's interesting because on their Twitter, they're not afraid to like go back at people. You yeah. Know? Like if you're talking shit on, on Dom or on Brooklyn Projects, they will just like come right at you. Yeah. yeah. Which, I mean, it's interesting to see. It's, to me, it's kind of cool, and then, you know, as long as they keep it under a certain level, mm -hmm. you know, and maintain that professionalism, it's cool. I mean, you got to stick up for your product. You, I'm sure they worked on this collaboration for years, at least a year and a half or so. It takes a long time. There's a whole process that goes into making a Nike SB collab. And there's only certain materials that they'll allow you to have and all that jazz. That's another thing too when you when you're talking about their Twitter accounts and that kind of stuff goes a long way with me. Um, if a, a shop like that will interact with customers, if you you 
give them props on Twitter and they'll retweet you or favorite you or even reply to you. Um, as a consumer, like that stuff goes a long way. It shows that you're kind of important, you know, you're spending money like on their product. Yeah. And I don't know, I, that's just a, another cool thing. And that's kind of what we try to do here on the channel. Mm -hmm. is at least I, when I'm, I'm running through the, the Instagram, the Twitter, and the, the YouTube, anytime somebody leaves a comment, I always try my best to reply as soon as I can. So anything that you guys want to say, put them down in the comments, please. Uh, we'll shoot you some detailed pics of the shoes in just a sec. But, bef but before we do that, I want to thank you for stopping by, checking out the channel, checking out this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, check out the rest of our videos, and follow us on YouTube and Twitter at Kicking Up A Notch. Thanks, guys.